y'all, we are back at it. It is literally the next day from flying home from Slimetopia. We got home at like 2 a.m. Our flight was a little bit delayed and stuff, but um, yeah, we're gonna be back at it making some slime. All right, so I have some glue draining in here. We're doing a gallon of glue all and then a half gallon of school glue. In this one, I'm gonna be making a slime called Moon Cheese, and it's actually inspired by a couple different things. So first of all, it's inspired by these Moon Cheese chips that I saw while we were at the Space Noodle in Washington. And um, these are basically just like cheese balls, but I think these are like not even um, like chips or anything because it says real like just 100% cheese. So I think these are like di di diet what dehydrated cheese. I can't speak. Um, they had like a little space section. They also had astronaut ice cream. So I'm gonna do a duo with moon cheese and astronaut ice cream. And they're looking so cute, and I'm so excited. Also, duh, I did see Squishy Bunny and Karina Garcia do a like cheese puff slime, and so it's gonna be like kind of inspired by that. But I think I'm gonna use like a little bit smaller of these foam beads, and then also it's gonna be more of like a yellow color. So shout out to them for sure because when I saw this I was like oh I could do like Karina's and Raul's and it's gonna be so cool and cute so I'm excited so I have yet to find a cheese slime that does not make people want to gag or vomit so I am gonna go ahead and send moon cheese like homemade cheesecake because what else is better than cheesecake honestly all right so now the glue scent lotion glycerin and all that good stuff is in there I'm going to add in some yellow paint to make it the color that I want and then also I'm gonna add in and just like a little bit of orange as well um because i do want to have like an orange tint but i want it to be mostly yellow all right so i'm gonna add in some of this yellow here let's try that much first now a tiny bit of the orange let's start with that much All right, the base for Moon Cheese is done. She is nice and glossy already. Nice and thick, and in my opinion, the perfect cheese color. I'm so excited for this slime. Look at all that cheese. It smells so good too. Like cheesecake candy, if that's even a thing. That's what it smells like. So I'm at Michael's. Got some stuff, some white foam beads. I actually got the small one. It's fine. I decided I'm gonna add a little bit more of these foam beads just because they're super nice in this slime. And I wanna make sure that everybody gets like a bunch of them with the slime, you know? So glossy and nice. These jumbo foam beads are like such a good size to give it like that realistic looking like moon cheese kind of look, but they're not too big to where you can't play with the slime. Like there's like what, five beads in this slime and it's still perfect to play with. It's just fun. All right, so I just packed up some of the moon cheese slimes. I'm still packing it actually, and they are super cute in this. The beads haven't fully risen yet from this, so you can't really tell that there's foam beads. Kind of like right here you can, but super cool. It's actually holding 10 ounces of slime. So this is how I'm making sure you're getting 10 ounces. I have the eight ounce here and the two ounce, and I'm literally just like combining them and putting them into the package. Alrighty, so I got some clear glue draining up in here. I'm making a slime. I think I'm gonna call it unicorn skin It looks really pretty in my head So basically it's like a pink clear slime with like a slight blue shift Then I put some like sugar paper glitters in there and it's gonna be like really cute So hopefully it comes out the way it is in my head. All right So I'm gonna add like a drop if I can of this red watercolor so that we can get a pink slime 
Hopefully that's not too much. Okay, it's perfect. That was the exact pink color that I'm going for. So now I'm gonna add in a little bit of this black diamond pigment right here. This one is called Blissful Blue Green. But honestly, I don't even really see much green in it. It's mostly blue, so I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of this until like I get the look that I'm kind of going for. I'm always kind of scared when I add pigments because you know, if you add too much, it'll look like a different way than you like originally anticipate. So I'm just gonna kind of start right there and see how it looks after that. I'm gonna add in a little bit of diamond dust. It's like a blue holographic kind of glitter. Just want a little bit though. That's probably good, just to give it that extra blue shimmer. And of course, some iridescent glitters, because y'all know I love these, so I'm gonna add about that much. Adding in some borax. I love when like water or liquid hits glitter, it's just so pretty. Gotta love the glitter. All right, so now it is time to make the Dole Whip Whoopie Pie, which is gonna be a new clay slime for my shop. It's a DIY clay slime, and I'm starting off with some good old school glue. This one's from Amazon, but um, this recipe would like come out great as well with Elmer's or any other school glue, just saying. I'm gonna add a bunch of yellow paint because I want this to be super vibrant yellow, just like a Dole Whip frosting would be, you know? That should be good. All right, I added in some vanilla scent, pineapple, and also some sugar cookie scent, and now I'm adding in some lotion. I don't really know what I want this base to be yet. I was thinking I wanted it to be like a loose kind of cloud cream, you know, with not as much snow. But now I'm thinking I might want it just to be a thick and glossy. I don't know, decision, decisions. I am really loving this color. Fun fact, y'all, I have actually made pineapple sugar cookies before, so this scent is like really taking me back. Even though I burnt them, but we won't talk about that situation. Um, they still tasted all right, considering they were burnt, but you know, just thought I'd let y'all know. So I ended up adding in a little bit of fake snow. So it's kind of like a white glue icy slime, like there's just a little bit of snow in it, not enough to make it a cloud cream, but definitely enough to like affect the texture. It's super soft, and it's gonna be really nice to like mix it in with the clay once, you know, you order it and get all the stuff. It's gonna look so cute, I'm so excited. It's gonna come deconstructed though, so you're gonna have to like put it together yourself. It's gonna come with like the clay um, separate, and then all you have to do is like assemble it in the container, like put the clay at the bottom and then the slime and then more clay. This is going to be cute though. Y'all are going to really like this. Y'all, I am so hyped. So this is astronaut ice cream. It's going to come in a bag like this in the pouch. It's part of the astronaut food duo. I don't know what I'm calling the duo yet, but it's like space NASA theme kind of thing. Um, inspired by Ariana Grande, obviously NASA, and obviously inspired by the Space Needle because we were just there and it was so fun seeing like all the astronaut themed stuff that they had. So this is gonna be um, the astronaut ice cream slime. It's a micro film and it has like other beads in it as well just to like represent the chocolate and strawberry. So that is gonna be this slime and it comes in this pouch and then also Moon Rocks is gonna come in this pouch as well and it's a duo. So it's gonna be these two slimes. And that's a lot of slime. There's probably like 10 or 12 ounces of slime in here, which is awesome um and yeah i just really love the texture it's scented like neapolitan ice cream as well so i just made these um well these have been made i just added the beads to them um and separated them so this is the strawberry one this is the vanilla one this one has micro foam beads and then these large white foam beads and then this one just has like um small pink foam beads and then also micro beads and then this one has micro beads the small brown foam beads and then also these large brown foam beads as well so i'm just super hyped what i'm hoping is that these colors will rise i'm gonna let them sit like this and then like the beads will rise to the top and stay separated so that it looks pretty cool so i'm really excited this is so cute all 
All right, so next up we are making shmoney, and it's a new slime inspired obviously by Cardi B and the way she says money. Um, it's scented like cucumber melon because I kind of wanted to give it like a relaxing kind of scent. And then also um, it's going to be a green, like money green cloud cream. And it's going to have gold leaf in it as well, so it's going to be super luxurious and pretty. And I can't wait. So I have the scent in there, the glue in there, and then also my lotions. I'm just going to let this mix for a little bit. Now I'm going to be adding in some snow. This is a little two ounce container just because this is the only container that I have right now that's clean. And I'm probably going to add like three of these. If you hear background noise, it's Holden I'm playing with his toy in the hallway, but it literally sounds like he's in here with me. All right, now I'm just going to let that mix. All right, time to make it a nice green color because money is green. Unless you got them hundreds, and you hundreds are blue. All right, money is done. It's a beautiful green. Feels very velvety and luxurious. It's gonna look so cool once I top it off with that gold leaf. Can't wait. I feel like I never show this part, but we have these little like post office boxes. I put the slimes in here once I finish packaging them and then I send them to my aunt's house and she actually seals them at her house. That way on Sundays when we package orders, um, you know, everything is sealed and ready. So, spoiler alert, this is how cute Shmoney looks. It's that green cloud cream that I made and then it has like a little triangle of gold leaf paper so you can mix it yourself. It actually smells really good too, like a spa. There's also Chanel in here. Where's she at? Right there. And then there's also Moon Pie Crunchy. Uh, it's probably like all the way down at the bottom. But um, we had some extra Moon Pie Crunchy that we did not take to Slime Topia. So I packaged it in these containers. So if you order some Moon Pie Crunchy, it might come in this or in an 8 ounce um, screw top container. So, you know, who knows? <laughs> so right now I'm actually editing a video for Instagram of Shmoney, the new slime that I just made. And it came out pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Look at how pretty that is. I use Final Cut Pro to edit and I just like tweak the colors a little bit to make it more true to like what it is in real life. I made the color a little bit more vibrant and it's just so pretty. Let me show y'all a little clip. So cute, I love this. It's so easy to edit on Final Cut Pro as well. Once you like get the hang of it, there's tons of YouTube tutorials out. So if you wanna start a YouTube channel, don't be discouraged. You could totally do this, you got this. All right, y'all, next up we are making Almond Joy Thicky, and I was inspired to do this slime by Slime Yoda and her Thicky Slime. So it's gonna be like a really thick and glossy slime with like a little bit of foam beads in it, just, you know, to give it that look of an Almond Joy. I'm thinking maybe like a brown slime and then white and blue foam beads. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be scented like an Almond Joy and I'm really excited because Almond Joy is like one of my favorite chocolates and I just need to smell this already. Wait, what? Oh, they were roasting you. Say hey y'all, I'm about to expose you. Hey y'all. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, you know, just FaceTiming the whales and making some slime. All right, now that I have my glue in there, I also added in some brown paint because I want this to be like a chocolatey color. And then I also added in my three scents. I added in chocolate, almond, and coconut as well. So now I'm gonna mix this. There's also lotion in here, by the way. So I'm just gonna mix this all up. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, y'all. Here's the base, nice and thick, glossy, all ready, and she's freshly made. And the scent is incredible, it smells pretty identical to an actual Almond Joy candy, so it's awesome. All right, so I'm actually gonna add in a couple of foam beads. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of all of these, um, just to kind of make it, you know, complete the look of the Almond Joy, because this is a thicky here. And I want it to, you know, stay true to its name, a thicky. I don't want it to become a phloem. I just want it to complete the look and make it look like, you know, a melted almond joy, I guess. Almond Joy Thicky. It's 
smells so good. That gloss though, look at that. Yes, queen. Okay, I'm gonna package up this Almond Joy Thicky, but first I wanna show you how thick it actually is. Let me see that if I can. Yes, honey, that is amazing. <laughs> Gotta pick a thumbnail, y'all know that. This is awesome. All right, let's pack her up. to keep this as my personal because it's my favorite candy in slime form and it's just so good Baja Blast is looking lovely and ready to be packaged I love this slime so much. Guess what, y'all? Bomb Pop is back. It was one of our best sellers last year during the summer season. So, of course, we're bringing it back. So nice. It's the same texture as Baja Blast, so it's an icy cloud slime. And, of course, it's going to be layered red, white, and blue. And each of them is scented differently as well. So, this one's cherry, lemon, and blue raspberry. It's so good together, and it's going to be so fun. This little baby bomb pop right here, this two ounce, was actually from last year. And as you see, the colors are still pretty separate. It's just the way that we make this slime. Um, it doesn't bleed, so that's pretty cool to know. So, if you get it, don't worry about the colors mixing, because they won't. Mud Mask is also looking beautiful right now. Look at her, super creamy and amazing. I love this one so much. Holden's like, I want to smell. So good. I'm packing up Mud Mask and Baja Blast. Also, y'all, we are going to have some grab bags this week as well. They're mini two-ounce slimes, so you can get some sample sizes if you want, if you've never purchased before. These are just some of the ones that I've packaged so far. We're going to have a bunch, and also, we're doing something really cool. Um, the first 15 people who purchase for this week's restock are actually going to be getting a free 8-ounce slime, and then the largest order is going to get a free 30-ounce slime, so that is really cool.